friends, this is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs and Magnolia Design Company. I'm just hopping on here for our Thursday night get together and I know I am about a minute early and that's fine. I just wanted to hop on here and I'm super excited about tonight's project. I just couldn't wait any longer. So as you're popping in, if you will say hello so that I know that you're here and we are going to get this party started in just a minute um just getting this shared a few pl well basically one or two places um um so that the rest of my peeps know that i'm live all right let's see here Gonna share here. All right, so we are good to go. All right. Hey Lisa, thanks for watching. Alrighty, so how is everyone's Thursday evening? My Thursday wasn't too bad today. It was kind of a little weird, but it's over and I'm glad. So, all right. We're going to get started here. So programmiums first, if you've watched me any length of time, you know how I start out my videos. So if this is your first time hopping on to the Foxy Chick Design page, or you've never seen my face before, if you will comment with a number one. If you are one of our loyal followers of Foxy Chick Designs, if you will comment with a number two. If you are a fabulous Magnolia Design Company creator and at whatever level, if you will comment with a number three, I like to know who my fellow creators are. And if you see a little red live button right about there, if you'll comment hashtag live, if you don't see that, that's fine. You're catching the replay. And if you will comment hashtag replay. So that all being said, we're all good to go. Um, we are going to play around with, I got this cute little um, butterfly wood cut out from the Dollar Tree. And I think I might use, play around with those tonight. Um, I have this, braver, it's called Braver and it's an eight and a half by 11 stencil. It's braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and more love than you'll ever know. And so we're going to play with that stencil tonight. I did pull out my buffalo plaid because we may use that on the butterfly. And our surface for tonight is going to be some handy dandy gallon size stir sticks. Um, I've pulled out a few burlap ribbons and a little um, shiny ribbon type thing so we're gonna we're just gonna play around tonight see how this comes out and hey brenda welcome welcome from nebraska oh yeah and if you guys are popping on would you guys tell me where you're watching from um i just like to see kind of where my videos go i know it sounds a little weird but hey i'm a little weird cookie um, for those of you that are brand new popping on, I am, my name is Michelle Fox and I am a creator with, actually I'm an innovator with Magnolia Design Company and, um, I live in Northwest Indiana, just the, the tip little quarter, um, about 45 minutes from downtown Chicago and I 
um, live here with my amazing husband who's watching. That's why I'm calling him amazing. Um, <laughs> not really. He is amazing. Um, with my amazing husband and my two amazing little fur babies and my dad. My 80, he'll be 82 in two weeks. So he, and he is living with us at the moment. Hey, Danielle, welcome. And so that's a little bit about me. So we are going to get started here. Um, I've pulled out some Magnolia chalk paste and we're going to be using our Tiffany teal and some coal black. And then I pulled out two chalk paints. I keep getting, I keep saying chalk paste and chalk paint intermixingly. Um, I'm going to use some antique wax from Waverly and I'm also going to use the color celery. Um, we're going to kind of do a little weathered technique. Um, so it looks a little bit distressed. Um, and we're going to just have some fun. Uh, I appreciate you guys all popping on with me. Um, the fact that you guys take times out of your busy schedules to come craft with me is absolutely amazing to me. I am so thankful um, for you guys that do jump on. And some of you are familiar faces that I see every Tuesday and Thursday night without fail. And I just appreciate you guys so much. I hope you know that. Um, I, I try my best to let you guys know how much you are appreciated because I... I love to craft and I can, I can craft whether I'm doing a live or not, but it's always fun when you're crafting with someone or you inspire someone to create what you've made or you've taken a, you know, for my fellow creators to take a stencil and maybe think outside the box and do something that they maybe not, not have thought of and they can take it and make another, you know, twist to it or like the stir sticks, you know, using them as a frame or using them as a, as a surface. So anyway, enough of my babbling. I'm going to flip you guys down so that you can see the project that we're making and we are going to get started. Uh, sorry, y'all. It takes me a minute to kind of get this all figured out. One of these days I will have it figured out or I will have a setup that I don't have to worry about it. All right. So there is that. Let me make sure I can still see comments. I do have my laptop up tonight, so I am able to see comments as they're coming in. So, all right. So I pulled out, okay, I've got these all mixed together. I pulled out some big popsicle sticks and we're going to be using those on the back to kind of hold the project together. And then I've just pulled out a bunch of these guys. Um, I'm going to lay them out here before I start to paint them and kind of see how many I'm actually going to need for this project. And I like to stagger them like this because every once in a while I like to like thread watching from the room next door. <laughs> okay, that is my husband that you see, James Fox. That is my better half. And I'm so grateful for him because he allows me to do what I do. And sometimes it can be a little bit of a money grabber. And But he supports me so much and I really do appreciate him. And so let's see. Will this fit on? Okay, that's right on the money. So I think we're going to do... Maybe we'll do one more. Let's see how this looks. Alright. Uh, I think we might... I'm just kind of eyeballing here. Because I, I do want to have a little bit of extra room. Because I think I might want to move this over here. So I can put the butterfly up here and a bow. So, okay. I think we have enough here. So, oh, I'm going to set these aside. All right. Hey, Miss Cheryl. Thanks for popping on. Welcome. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Brenda. All right. So 
So we are going to set the stencil aside for just now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these all painted up. I'm going to grab some gloves so that I do not get make a mess on my hands and not be able to get them off, get it all off. Uh, alrighty. I guess we need to get some bigger gloves because I got some big hands. Okay. So I'm going to take my, let me see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to put the, that down first? Eh, no. What I'm going to do is I am going to do this this way. I'm going to get my lovely little paint opened, I think. Ugh. These paints, I'm telling you, they drive me nuts sometimes. Because I hate to get my fingers in the paint before I even start. It's like, goodness gracious. It's like I almost start making a mess before I even have gotten started. Ah, oh, there we go. go ta, 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 ta. and of course I do have green paint on my fingers okay so I am going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to use the baby wipe to paint my stir sticks here just because then it makes it it waters it down a little bit and it makes it look like a stain versus a um, paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and hmm, I might have to stir this up a little bit because it does not eh, this is not kind of turning out the way I want. Hmm. Okay, not liking this color, so we're gonna we're gonna change this out. This is a new color for me. So, hey Mary, welcome. So we are going to hmm, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna grab our crystal. shake this up a little bit first sorry for the color change but I'm just not liking that green at all okay so let's grab another baby wipe and I know this first one here is gonna look a little weird but we're just gonna, there we go. We're just gonna go over this like so. What are you making? I am taking my stir sticks and making a surface. And we are gonna use the Braver Stronger Smarter stencil from Magnolia Design Company. And we're going to make just a cute little DIY sign. I hope my lives, you know, I, I know I, you know, tell you the price of things and I'm going to try to be very careful with that. But I hope my lives inspire you to, to know that you can make gifts and, um, what do you call it? home decor on a budget that you don't have to spend a lot. I know going to places like Hobby Lobby or Michael's, you know, some of their stuff is to me very overpriced. Um, and I know 
well, I mean, I don't, I don't know all of you personally on here, but I know for me, I like to have my, my house decorated and, um, you know, all pretty when I've got company coming over and, but I don't like to spend a ton of money on my decor pieces. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue. this. Woo, okay. And like I said, I'm just going over this and because doing it with a baby wipe kind of makes it look like a stain more than paint. I'm just going around the edges here. And you know what, I actually, I think I am going to grab a paintbrush um, and go over this because this is just taking forever for me and I'm sorry, but have you ever checked out craft deals for surfaces? Mary, I have not, but I, I definitely will. Um, woo, okay. Got a mess going on here. But welcome to Michelle's Crafting because is Michelle a clean crafter? No, she is not. Um, I will check them out. Do you get surfaces from them, Mary? I got mine from Craft to Scrap Puzzles. Oh, awesome, Brenda. Okay, I will I will definitely check them out. Definitely, they have nice quantity service and they're cheap. Oh, good, okay, well I will. I am not opposed to checking things out. Thank you guys for the great tip. Because I'm, I'm always looking for surfaces and um, I do like our magnolia surfaces a lot, but I'm, I am, I'm kind of biased on those. I usually buy them for my own home decor, not really to sell, um, just because I love them so much. And usually when I craft on it, I love the project so much that I find a place to put it in my house. Um, so I don't craft a whole lot on here with magnolia surfaces just because I'll send you the link. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brenda. I appreciate that. No matter how much you order from Oh, I love that. Love the shipping. I know, I don't know for you guys, but I know I have, I have found that shipping has gone up on a few things. Um, Shipping has gone up, and it gets there a whole lot later than what it used to. It's like, and I understand, you know, with, you know, everybody says with COVID, but I don't think COVID is quite as big as what it was last year. I mean, I, I know it's still rampant, and I know it's still, you know, people are still getting it and things like that, but I just don't think it's quite as crazy as what it was last year. Yes, I agree. All right, I'm just finishing up here on the sides. Um, just getting these all painted up and then we're gonna flip them over and get them all glued together and then we're gonna distress them. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that. 
Um, there are several ways that you can distress a set of boards or, you know, a surface like this. You can put some petroleum jelly down after you paint. You would paint the bottom with a, um, like a darker antique wax or a black or a brown, um, or something like that and then put you know dry it put petroleum jelly down and then go over with a lighter coat and dry it and then take like a scraper over it or you can do like I'm gonna do and I'm gonna I'm just painting these all in this crystal color which is a really pretty light blue from Waverly um, Waverly chalk paint and um it's kind of a like a gray blue it just i like the color i think it's pretty all right trying to keep my fingerprints out of the project all right so there's that and we're down to the last one and then we're going to dry these up and then we are going to move on to the distressing part and getting that all dried up and then we're going to work on the project itself the stenciling part which to me is kind of my favorite all right so we are just about all done here. Oop. Okay, so we got those all like that. All right, I'm going to keep this and I'm going to use it again. So I'm going to shove this up here to the top I am gonna keep my gloves on just because we're still gonna be painting doing some more painting besides what we've done I'm gonna just go ahead and get this and chalk paint does not take a whole long time to dry it really does not and that's another reason why I really like it is because it dries up pretty quick So, question for the night is, um, how many of you have already been to your local Dollar Tree and they have summer crafting projects out? I'll be right back. Okay. Sounds good, Brenda. I stopped at one of the Dollar Trees that are close to my house. I actually, um, oops, sorry y'all, like showing y'all my stomach. Um, I stopped by my local Dollar Tree tonight on the way home from picking up my new glasses and like they had absolutely nothing like I was so because I've seen people set, you know showing projects and stuff and saying that they've been to their local Dollar Trees and they've had this that and the other thing mine did not so have yours start putting stuff out or you know is my dollar tree just behind the times or what is going on or do i just need to go to another dollar tree which you know might very well be the case as well Okay, so now I'm just flipping these guys over because I'm going to get these together first and then I'm going to distress them. 
because it'll just be a whole lot easier to distress once they're all together. Okay, so we're just going to flip and flip and flip. needs to go this way. I was at my on Sunday and they really didn't have anything. Okay, so I'm not completely losing my mind. Okay, good. Because I was just like, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just kind of was like, oh, hey, you know, summer, you know, because they're usually a season ahead, you know, or spring stuff and I went to one, and it's a fairly newer one, so you would think it would have kind of the most stuff available, but, you know, you just never know. Just never know. Okay, so now I've got these all laid across like so. So I'm going to take my lovely little, little sticks here, and I'm just going to throw some hot glue on it and I'm gonna go and just lay this down like so. So I'm gonna put one here like this and then I'm going to do the same thing with another but I'm gonna start down here and go up And I just kind of go back and forth. Hey, Darlene, welcome. Oh, there's two Darlene's. Darlene H and Darlene Yaks. Darlene, is it Herrera? Thank you guys so much for popping on and joining me tonight. I appreciate it so much. As you're popping in, if you would tell me where you're watching from, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one here. And like I said, I'm just going back and forth just to make sure that all of my pieces stay together. All right. Bakersfield, California. Wow. Bakersfield. Why should I know Bakersfield? Is it like Kevin Harvick from Bakersfield? Or is it... I can't remember if it's Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, or... I, th I really do. I think it's Kevin Harvick's from Bakersfield. Yes, I'm a racing nut. You know what? And actually, I'm going to... Will one of those fit? Nope, it's too long. Okay, don't want to do that. I'm just going to grab another one of these guys and put it right here. Yes, and Buck Owens. Okay, I, I, knew, I knew the song, like, from Dwight Yoakam and... and um, Buck Owens was Bakersfield. I knew that. Ooh, you're watching from Michigan. Darlene Yaks, what part of Michigan are you watching from? And then the next question is, are you a Michigan Wolverine fan or are you a University of Michigan fan? And I know that'll depend on what part of Michigan you're from. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a college sports nut as well. You guys are learning all kinds of new things about me. I don't know if you guys knew all that. So whether you did or didn't, now you do. Okay. So here is our cute little surface. Southeast Michigan. U of M. Okay, good deal. I don't know if you can see my colors, but I am wearing blue and maize today. Um, let me see. Is this this way with it? Yep. Okay, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, and these aren't all lined up either. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, 
and I'm actually going to put it over in this corner a little bit. Good deal. Okay, just wanted to make sure I was going the right way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some antique wax from Waverly, and I am going to use the brush that I used to paint this blue, and I'm going to dab this in it. And I'm just going to kind of just lightly brush just kind of over like so. So I'm just basically dry brushing. That's all I'm really doing. So I'm just lightly going over. Okay, and now that I've done that, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to take a baby wipe. Hey, Missy, welcome. And I'm just going to rub over this a little bit and pick up any extra that might be laying. Kind of smooth this out a little bit and just give it a little bit of that distressed look. So there is that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually I need to pull out our little butterfly. Set those aside. And I do need to paint our little butterfly and I do want to paint it in this really pretty blue. So I'm going to just dip my brush back in there. Ah. And I'm going to just paint him up like so and he'll be a little distressed he's like a little it's a little bit darker gray because of having the the brown in it so we're just going to use this little bit here like I said that way he's he looks a little distressed as well all right, so I'm gonna let him sit off to the side. I'm gonna throw that away. I'm gonna close this up so I don't make a mess. Hey, Sandy. And I'm going to pull off the gloves. And we can throw these away. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this all dried up so that we can stencil on it. I dry up the butterfly as well. think we're all dried up so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to um do I have goodness gracious what did I do uh, I don't have a towel at the moment I don't think I have my tacky towel I have my 
my old towel. And I'm going to just use this because I do want to lint this up because it is a brand new stencil. But like I said, this is an 8.5 by 11 stencil. And these stencils are $13.99. And they can be purchased off of my website, which is Foxy Chicks. FoxyChickDesigns.MagnoliaDesignCo.com And I'm going to... Oh, you can tell that this is new. You can smell it. Mm. Oh, it's... I love the smell of a new, a new stencil. Okay, so I'm going to put Braver. And I'm going to just pull this stencil down. And the reason I mark on the back of my backer sheets when my stencils are brand new are because our stencils are reusable. They're silk screen self-adhesive stencils that can be used 8 to 12 times depending on your care. And um, so when you clean them off, they are, they are able to be cleaned off with just some cool water. And they can be, once they're dry, they can be put back on this backer sheet and used over and over and over again. So I'm just rolling this down off the backer sheet. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but do you hear how sticky that is? I don't want to lay that down with all that stick on it. So I'm going to use my tacky towel. And I'm just going to lay our stencil down. And I'm going to pull it up. And it just pulls up some lint. So this is called linting or fuzzing. And we just put a little layer of lint on the back of the stencil, just so it's not quite so sticky. And it just makes it a lot easier to stencil and to pull back up without um, stretching your stencil. So I'm just doing this a couple times just to make sure that I have some lint on there. And you can, you when I'm pulling it off, you can hear the sound of the, the stick. So, um... So I'm just getting some lint on here because I don't want to pull up my chalk paint. So I'm just linting this a few times. And this one's really sticky. So I'm doing it a little bit more than I normally do because, like I said, this is a really sticky stencil. Okay, I think we are good. So I'm going to stick my tacky towel off to the side. And I'm going to lay my stencil down just like so. And actually, I forgot. I want to pull it over here to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and lay up. Get this a little bit straighter. Actually, you know what? I want to try some of the ones here. Let's see if this will fit. It will, but do I want to do it that way? No, I don't think I do. I do think I want to stick with this way. And I'm going to have to, you know what, before I lay this down and start stenciling, I want to add a little bit of glue right here to make sure that that stays glued down. Ah! Hot, 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 hot as I melt my finger. That was not real smart. Not real smart there, genius. No, not quite. Okay. So, we are going to go ahead and we are going to lay this back down. Actually, this can get removed. And I'm going to lay this here. And I'm going to pull up my stencil. And I'm going to lay this down over here on this edge. And I'm going to lay this down and smooth it out, making sure that there are no, no air bubbles in the silk screened areas. All right, and the colors that I'm using are the Tiffany Teal and the Coal Black. And what I'm going to do is the Braver, Stronger, Smarter, and Loved 
are going to be in our Tiffany teal. Everything else is going to be in the coal black. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Tiffany teal opened here. And I'm going to grab my stir stick. And I'm just going to get in there and give this a good stir. And I like my chalk paste to be the consistency of yogurt or frosting in a can. Okay, so I'm going to grab a squeegee and dip it in. And I'm just going to go over this. And I'm going to kind of work quickly because I don't want my chalk paste to um, dry before I peel up the stencil. Because you do want to pull up the stencil while it's wet. Okay. So there's that. And actually, I'm going to get the black open as well. And I think we're going to do the chalk and peel. Because that way I can guarantee that that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of black chalk paste here. And I'm just going to... Okay. And then I'm going to peel this up like so. Like that. And I'm going to just barely lay that back over. And then I'm going to get back in here with some black chalk paste. I'm trying to be very, very careful. I should have stirred this up a little bit better. Tiffany Teal here on the word stronger. Okay. And then I'm going to Go back under here and peel this up like so and then I'm gonna lay just lay that barely back down smooth out this area and actually before I start working anymore I am going to get I'll take this have a, good night. have a good night, Mary. Thanks for popping in. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to my black. And I'm going to go ahead and get that stirred up. Because that's just a little bit too thick for my liking. It doesn't spread very well. And I'm not liking that. So we're just going to get this stir it up just a little bit better there we go all right so we are now on this this all right here we go in with some Tiffany Teal in for this smarter. I 
and being very careful not to mix the two. Okay. And I'm going to go in with this. And you think just trying to be very very careful here not to mix the two colors because I really do want them to stay separate and I'm just making sure that all of our silk screened areas are covered okay and actually I'm gonna go and do this and while I'm here And the more loved, I'm trying to be very quick here. I'm going over this. off okay then I'm gonna go in with some Tiffany teal into this loved and then I'm going to oh and I got it the black. Oh well. Alright, so I'm going to set this off to the side because I don't want to put that back in there. And we are going to finish removing this. And there is that. And yes, it is a little off-centered, and there is a reason for that, because I've got some extra little pieces that I'm going to put on here. So there is that. So that's the beginning part of it. I'm going to go ahead and get this all dried up. Okay, so now I'm going to sit this guy off to the side here for a minute, for a hot minute, and I'm going to grab our cute little butterfly, and I'm going to bring him in, and I'm just going to lay him, actually I am going to take this, take this off. This stencil has been well loved, my friends, let me tell you, and I've, I just bought a new one, and I haven't pulled it out yet. But what I'm going to do is I am going to use um, some of the Tiffany Teal here. And I'm going to go over our little butterfly. And yeah, there's, there's a little bit of black on there and I'm not real concerned. So I'm just going to go over like this. And just make sure that that's all completely done. And I'm going to wipe that off on my thing in the trash can. 
and I'm just going to pull this little guy off. Oh my goodness, he's cute. Ah, no. Do not. Do not fold over. Okay, so I'm going to sit this guy up there. And here's our little butterfly. Our cute little butterfly. And I'm going to dry him out. Get him all nice and dry. I know, ain't he cute? I think he's cute. Okay, so now he's all dry, so I'm gonna let him get room temperature. I'm going to clean up my crazy mess here while that's coming back to room temperature. Scooping this up and trying to get it back in the container. All right, so we're gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna get this. Thanks, Darlene. Get these all closed up so that I'm not making a bigger mess than needed. over there and that over there and I'm getting that all closed up because if you watch me for any length of time I am a messy crafter and I out of nowhere I get messes everywhere like right there I would have laid something in that for sure all right so I'm gonna just clean up my table here I just don't want any kind of a mess. I am notorious for messes. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this cute little guy back in here. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to put our little butterfly. Shall I put him up here at the, oh, I like him there at the top. Never mind. I know where I want to put him. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you know what? Better idea. Better idea. Shoot him back over there. Okay. Bow. Scissors. Okay. So we are going to do... And we are going to go like this. And we're going to we're gonna grab a little bit of this. It's snowing. Really? Oh, I don't I I like that word, but I don't want to hear it now that it's you know spring. And, like, my rose bush and everything is starting to bloom. So, yeah, no, don't want to see that white fluffy stuff anymore this year. I'm, I'm good. And I'm a snowbird, but, yeah, no. Okay. Ah, eh, oh well. Went the wrong direction. And we are going to grab, yeah, if I have had some of this. Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, we're not going to use that. April and May are blizzard months. For real? That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. So we've got this, this, and this. And I've got some twine around here somewhere. I think I do. Ha, ha, ha. I knew I did. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this twine off. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of bunch this up. Yes, it's crazy. Last week was beautiful. Yeah, I'm like, that's so crazy. Like, I, mm. no, no, no. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm just taking this. And I'm going to wrap this around and I'm going to try and tie this while this is all bunched up. We'll see how this works. So I'm going to just, I've got it tied and I'm going to pull it real tight. And I'm going to tie it around again. down because I'm not quite in the middle. Well, actually, no, I'm not. All right, I'm going to try and get this. I tied one end too loose. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. But... Oh, and guys, can I ask you a huge, huge favor? Um, I have a sweet, sweet friend. Um, her name is Caitlin, and she is having a very delicate eight-hour brain surgery in the morning at Baptist Health in Paducah, Kentucky. And if I could just ask you guys to send her good thoughts, prayers, well wishes, I'd really appreciate it. Um, her mom and dad left today to go down to Kentucky to be with her and she has an older brother and an older sister that I know are very concerned. Um, so if I could just ask a huge favor that you guys just say a prayer for her, I would really, it would mean so much to me and I know it would mean so much to her family. Um, so anyhow. She's a good girl. She's she's a hard worker. She's, you know, she graduated top of her class in high school and she's, you know, working on a medical field degree in college and just has been hit with this weird diagnosis and has to have a very delicate brain surgery in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this cute little butterfly in the middle of this little bow. So, oh, okay. There we go. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. So, we are going to put a little bit of hot glue up here on this bow. And we're going to put this bow right here. And I'm just going to push this down. like so. And I'm going to just let the, the hot glue kind of do its thing for a minute without burning my fingers. And okay. I really like this butterfly just the way, or I just like that bow the, right the way it is. And then I, we're going to put, we're just going to lay this right in the middle. So I'm going to put a little glob of glue there. And I'm just going to push this guy right to the middle. Oh, thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up, guys. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, 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 so much. All right. So there is, oops. 
can't really see the UR, which is not dummy. Oh, well, we're just gonna move this up a little bit. We'll move him down a little bit. Nah, we're just gonna leave it. Okie dokie. So, here we go. This is our cute little project for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up, you guys. You guys are the best. All right. So, I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm going to leave this just as it is and let this dry. I just think it turned out super cute. I am really pleased with how this turned out. All right, I'm gonna move you guys back up to me. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, thanks, Darlene. I'm glad you guys really like it. All right, so I'm actually going to flip ya so you guys can see the finished project. So it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and more loved than you'll ever know. And it just has this cute little bow and little butterfly up at the top. And I just think this turned out super, super cute. I really enjoyed making this project. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating it. Hey, Linda, welcome. You're catching the tail end. You'll, hopefully you'll go back and watch the replay. Um, and you can see how we made this cute little um, project here. So thank you guys so very much for popping on tonight. I appreciate you guys so very much. And I will see you guys on Tuesday night for another fun DIY. I will see you then. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great night. Bye, y'all.